Hello, my most amazing artists. I hope that you enjoyed that read-along. That was the silliest turkey ever. I really love that book. I think it is so cute. So, in the spirit of Thanksgiving and turkeys, we are going to be making dun, 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 turkeys in disguise today. So, as you can see, my turkey, well, what do you think my turkey is trying to be? He's supposed to look like he's trying to be a tiger. So that was my choice. I'm not sure what you will choose, but I hope you have so much fun drawing along with me today. I am going to um, switch my camera over so you can watch me draw, and then I'm really going to leave this lesson up to you. You're going to decide what your turkey's going to be, and you have options. You can also add some cutout paper. You could draw a whole costume on another piece of paper and glue it on to your turkey. Um, or you can just draw one on like I did. Uh, I just drew my turkey with his little accessories of his cute little tiger ears and some whiskers and a tiger sweater. And he has on tiger slippers too. So you decide how you're going to do it. I'm very excited to see how creative you get with your turkey costumes and your turkey in disguise. Let's go draw. Okay, my most amazing artists, we are going to get ready to draw our turkeys so that you can put them in disguise. We're going to start up in this corner of our paper and kind of work our way around to the back of the body. You might be able to see a slight design under here. I have another turkey that I drew that I'm going to use as my guide just to make it a little bit easier. So we're going to start up here and we're going to make kind of a flattened out C shape. So we don't want to be too round. That's going to be the top of our turkey's head. And I'm going to go a little bit quickly today, friends, so if you need to pause the video, you go right ahead and pause so that you can catch up. Uh, but I do want to go a little bit quickly today and try to get a nice short video in for a change. Okay, so I'm going to now make what we call the snood. It's that funny little thing that hangs down off of our turkey's nose or beak. And a triangle shape for the beak. And then I'm going to come in here and make an eye. Good. Now I'm going to come back to the back of my neck and I am going to draw that line down a little further to where I think that's a good length for my neck and then I'm going to make a big round shape for my turkey's body. So a nice big curved out round shape for my turkey's body and stop. So a little bit past the bottom of the page is where the back of my turkey ends. I'm going to come back over here underneath my snood and I am going to make a curved line in that then comes all the way down and just in a little bit again. If you need to make that in two steps, you go ahead. That is going to be the front of our turkey. And I left this space because this is where we are going to put our wing. So I am going to, again, with that kind of C shape, this time it is more of a C, but then turn it into a sideways J. Funny. Okay, we're going to make some lines from here up for the feather and we're going to make a long line and then get them a little bit, make, have them get a little bit shorter. And we're going to connect those lines with a curved line. And again, if you need to stop, if I'm going too fast, you can pause and then continue. Another long line on this side and making some shorter ones coming down this way towards my wing. Now I'm going to connect those again with a curved line. And boom, we have a wing. We are good to go. I'm going to come back up here. This is bothering me, and I'm going to color in this eye. I'm going to leave just a tiny bit of it white like eye shine. All right. I can maybe make this beak separator a little longer, too. There we go. All right, we're ready for the... I'm going to actually just connect this part, and we're ready for the tail. So same thing we're going to make. Find, like, the middle part here of our body, and we're going to make one long line that comes up. Then they're going to fan out, so they're going to get shorter as they go along my turkey. So I'm going to leave about a finger space in between each line, and each one will get a little bit shorter as we move down the turkey's body on either side of this one long line. Okay, just like we did with the um, wing, we're going to connect that with a curved line. Excellent. Now we're going to put some uh, bands in here inside of our tail. And this is where it's kind of like what we did with our spider web, where we're going to connect these two lines with a bumpy line. 
It's very interesting how the skills we learn in one lesson can be used in another. So now I want another line on top of that, leaving a little space. And again, if I'm going too fast, you just pause and catch up or rewind as needed. One more band up here. Inside each section. There we go. All right, he's almost done. Uh-oh, my turkey has no legs. This is Arsalai, you silly goose. You're going to need to add some legs. So we're going to come over here under the body and do two lines down, and then under the wing, two lines down. And now he has some legs, and we're going to give him some feet. Oops, <laughs> his foot got rectangle. Do I mind? Not at all. Sometimes when we're making art, we make mistakes. All right, friends, so there's your basic turkey, and now this lesson is up to you. You are going to add some kind of a costume, some kind of a design to turn your turkey into something else. Now, I turned my turkey into a white tiger, ha, 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 wearing a white sweater, tiger sweater, and some silly little headband tiger ears and some whiskers, and even some tiger socks or slippers. So you decide, and then I did color my turkey, the traditional turkey colors, with a little bit of marker as well. Uh, the other thing you could do would be to add in something else around the turkey to really tell the story of what your turkey is hidden or dis uh, disguised as. You also have the option of doing some collaging, which is where you would cut out some pieces of paper and you would glue them on or tape them on. You might create a whole little outfit and glue it on or tape it on to your turkey on top. It might be one way you handle this project. So I'm going to leave all that creativity up to you, and I will hope you have so much fun making this lesson. I cannot wait to see what you do. Upload it into Artsonia for me, and until next time.